Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'd already started this video and I'll zoom you in and I've got this new base to show you. Um, it's the P. Louise and it's the Rumour 10. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I already have the Rumour 1 which is the light base and I was showing you, I got this far and I needed to zoom you in a little bit and my camera went all fuzzy and wouldn't work. So pretend that I've just done this, you need the tiniest little amount um, to do this and it is the tiniest little bit. Um, I'm going to do my crease colour with my um, Natural Collection Milk Chocolate. So I'm just going to pop that down in the crease. Um, the base colour went a little bit high, higher than I wanted it to, so that's a little bit of a mess there. Um, so I hope that's going to be okay. Um, I wanted to keep this colour just on the eyelid without going into the crease, but... Um, I had a little bit of an accident. Um, I wonder if I take a little bit of the light colour and put it on a brush and see if I can blot a little bit of that out. So I'm going, I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going up the top and seeing if I can rock a little bit of it out. That's a little bit better. You can see what I've done. I've just blotted it a little bit. Right, go back with the crease colour. And just go back in. Like that. And then I'm going to use um, the PS Amber Passion um, palette <laughs> and I'm going to take a brush and go into this colour to start with I think or maybe that one and go on the outside um, corner and see how that goes with it. Just pat that on. I need a mirror close up. I've got a round mirror down here but I need to be a bit closer so I'm just patting that on where which colour did I go into? I think it was that one. Where the dark colour is just on the lid like that. And then on the other side too. Excuse my finger. I was opening, I was very silly. I have a tool to open um, pull lids on cans that you get and of course I didn't use I didn't use the pull can um, tool that I have and pulled the lid and it didn't go all the way and as I was trying to pull it and not still not using the pull, pull tool um, I managed to cut my finger really really badly just over the knuckle on this can lid that was sticking up and um, I managed to deal with it myself. I didn't go to A&E, I couldn't deal with having to sit there for goodness knows how many hours 
Um, I did go to the surgery afterwards, um, the following day, and they couldn't fit me in. So I went the following day and they gave me an appointment. So they, I've been twice down there and they've looked at it and now they've just left it to me to deal with. Um, I still have steri strips on the wound and then it's just covered with um, a padded plaster sort dressing. Um, I want a colour for the inside. Oh, this will be okay. Um, just trying to find a brush. In all my brushes, that's the one I want. Just a small Real Techniques brush. And I'm going into this colour here and popping that on the inner corner part that I've left bare. So I'm going to sort of blend that through to the brown. It's just going to be a basic smoky type eye. Nothing special really. <laughs> but I hope you hope you like it. I don't move the uh, I don't move the um, zoom button, just in, I think I'm needing a new camera, I think, I'm not sure. It's a couple of times that's done it now. A um, couple of endings to my videos, it's messed up where I've wanted to zoom out and I haven't been able to, I'm just going to take that underneath, just underneath there a little bit. I'm going to look down into my mirror, sorry. Under there. So I'm turning my brush over. I'm just going to take my finger and just blend it a little bit more. Just wiping that off, sorry. And then from the tartnet in Bloom palette from Tarte obviously I am going to take that brush and go into Flower Child which is that one there and just do the top oh that's a bit much <laughs> too much shadow on there Just on there like that. Just blend that a little bit with my finger. And that side too. need a little bit more colour, a little bit higher into the crease there, just to match the other side, just a tiny bit, there, like that. Right, wipe that underneath, well, a little bit of fall down, not too much, wipe underneath there and then I'm going to take a ex collection extreme liner in brown you see that and it's just a felt pen I'm just going to pull you forward a little and then I'm just going to line the upper part a little bit. I hope you can see well enough. Like 
going up. And the same on the other side, see if I can get it fairly even. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got such a runny nose, it's really cold where I live at the moment. It's cold everywhere, isn't it? But it's exceptionally cold here. I live in the northeast of England, so. I've got a little blob there where I didn't want a little blob but I can't do anything about it because this stuff does not shift once it's down and then I'm going to do it down a little bit and the tiniest tiniest little bit underneath It's not writing very well at the minute, but it's gone over shadow, but I can guarantee it will make a mess. Ah, my eyes are watering. All right, I've got a pencil brush and I'm going to go oh, in with the shadow that I was using on the outer corner and set the underneath a little bit, put a little bit of shadow underneath there. I need to blow my nose. Sorry about that. Oh. Oh, I need to blow my lashes and I forgot my curlers. Oh. Tried to stop my eyes from watering. It's giving me a runny nose. <laughs> I'm sorry you did get to see me put in the the um, colour down this one down. I will show you again in another video. I'm about to use it again. Um, Alright, I've got Essence Volume Mascara. If you haven't used this before, you ought to give it a go because um, not only does it give you great lashes underneath your mascara, but it also protects your lashes from your from your mascara. My lashes have grown so much since I've been using this. I think I've got it in my hair. Um, I've got oh, Tart Man Eater. I had this back in the summer, but I've managed to find another one. I'd pay I paid three pounds for the one in summer, and this one cost me seven. I think it was five, between five and seven. Um, so it's still a bargain for what it is. Sorry, I stopped talking, didn't I? Oh. watery eyes and I put drops in my eyes before I started to help stop the watering 
<sighs> and then I have the another Body Shop Lash Sport Waterproof Mascara. This is a nice mascara. A little bit on the pricey side. I do have other waterproof mascaras that work really well that are a lot cheaper. Uh, but it is a nice mascara. There you go. Oh, I'm not doing my bottoms. I don't do my bottoms. Um, what are they? Lashes. I think I just blinked. I did and got it on there. I've got a contour with cargo. I need to be right back. Just contour a little bit. I've usually done this beforehand. I contour here now and up the sides and over. Rather than going in there, I do it a little bit higher. I saw it on Chalky Kaz. Oh, I can't remember what she's, Karen's Place, I think she's called a channel now. Whatever I call a Chalky Kaz, you all know who I mean. So, and she'd seen it on another lady's channel, which. I've decided to do a video late afternoon and I can't really see properly what I am doing. So I do hope that this uh, make oh look that this makeup is I'm just gonna leave that sorted out in a minute. Um this blusher is a L'Oreal True Match in Innocent flush. It's quite an old one, but it's a lovely mascara. Uh, no, lovely blush. It's not mascara. That's mascara on my face where it shouldn't be. <laughs> I always pop a little bit around my temple. My uh, hair is due for a wash, but I'm mean, relying on uh, dry shampoo at the minute, and it's still it's not like having um, your hair washed properly. I'm just going to bend down and try and get rid of this. If you leave the mascara until it's dry, you can get it off easier. There, look. I just got to go back in. With my colour under there and pop that back just like that. Here we go. Oh. I have Hourglass Ambient uh, Kapoi Highlight and it looks like that and then the colour inside just a little bit try not to get it on the wrinkled area just a little bit down my nose and then I will go in over my cupid's bow in a moment. Let's pop my glasses back on. Right. I have a Giordana uh, Easy Liner in Tournay for my lips. So I'm going to outline my lips for you and fill in just a little bit. Like that. I 
this is going to be a terrible video when you're not daring to move this camera. I do hope you can bear with me <laughs> on this. Right, the lipstick I'm going to use is a number seven and it's called Honey Bloom, I think. focus. No, sorry. It's that colour. I do apologise for this. So, just a neutral lip. Oh, I've still got more mascara. <laughs> I uh, blinking more than I would normally blink to try and stop my eyes from watering. <sighs> oh, my lips are so dry. That uh, lipstick's not doing uh, the best for me. Right there, oh, I'm going to get rid of this again. <laughs> there we go. That is the eye makeup. I hope you like it. I made a bit of a mess of it, I think. I, it's not my best look. I'm looking for my crease brush. I can't find it. Come on, where is it? There it is, I'm just gonna... There we go. I hope you like this look. I don't, this light is too bright, I don't know. Is that easier to see? I don't know. But uh, please look at this eye because it's the better eye. Um, I'm really pleased with that base. Really pleased with it. Um, that eye is terrible. Um, let me see if I can correct it a little bit more. <laughs> a little bit better. That's a little bit better, I think. Just a fraction better. There we go. Oh, I was going to put a little bit of um, this ambient on my Keep his bow. There we go. There. Thank you for watching, and I will be back soon with another video. And I hope that my camera um, isn't playing up. Uh, zoom you out. Try to it up. See, it's gone silly now. So I will see you in another video. Take care, everyone, and mind the COVID. Bye bye for now.